Okay, folks, it's me, Ali, again, and we're going to talk about the second feature of the ESX filing system called the, um, the Single Stroke and Clean, SSC. Now, this may seem like a small little change. However, this is a significant uh, change in the way we use files. I personally believe that for the past 20 years of rotary instrumentation, we haven't really been using files properly and that a, a standardized motion such as the SSC would really help reduce uh, some of the procedural uh, errors and accidents that we have had in the past using rotary and ITI files. So when Rebuild Dendo was asked to basically be inspired by the endo sequence filing system and develop a new file based on the core design of the endo sequence, however with more efficiency, and what we ended up doing was incorporate the booster tip into our finishing files and get rid of uh, basically four files in, this, in the sequence, or three of the finishing files in the procedural pack. The question came up that, well, how do you end up going from a total of about five files to two files without a dramatic increase on the torque on each given file? And that's a legitimate question because, because the torque on each file does increase dramatically when you stop sharing the burden of cutting dentin among multiple files and you put it on less files. So each file ends up doing the share of a couple of additional files that were basically, you know, one size before and after it. Uh, and now the one file is doing more. So how can we uh, go about reducing the torque on a single file in that kind of a scenario? Well, first let's see how the previous endo sequence system was used. The endo sequence system, uh, the motion, the operator motion that was recommended by Dr. Scotch and Brave was a rhythm technique, which was basically three strokes to engagement and then removing the file and cleaning it. And this was a great motion at the time when Dr. Scotch and Brave came up with this rhythm technique uh, motion. It really was not something that was described by other um, um, people on the circuit. The motion of use has never been used. See, in the past we've been talking about incorporating this uh, idea of motion into the handpiece itself through torque control. But the problem with torque control is that the torque control is not constant um, across the file. The torque is greater usually at the tip, sometimes in the middle, depending on the file that you're using, but the handpiece is only feeling the average torque on the file versus to the torque on specific areas of the file. So the torque control, although it helped reduce some of the file fractures, it really wasn't quite as uh, safe as the motion that I'm going to describe uh, momentarily as well. And the motion that I'm going to talk about is based on the fact that over the past 20 years of um, teaching and doing workshops, I realized that there is a difference in the way operators use files. You can put the same handpiece, the same file, the same block in two different operators' hands, and some operators will end up having a far, uh, you know, different results, basically. And uh, it's based on that that I re recognized the need to come up with a different way of using files. And that way has to be um, a rational way in which torque is exerted on files. First, let's take a look at how torque is exerted on a file. We need to come up with a chip space based motion because uh, the chip space is the area in the canal when you put a triangular file in a circular canal, torque is exerted by the walls, the circular wall of the dentin as the, the file is rotating in there and um, the chip space at that point is not exerting any torque. However, as the cutting action continues and the cut debris collects into the chip space and makes the chip space full, now the cutting action is no longer the real source of the torque but rather the accumulated debris in the chip space that adds to the torque on the file. So 
when you realize that at regular speed, which is the speed that you can see here um, rotating at about five to 600 RPM, the chip space can get full very quickly. So here again, in slow motion, you can see that a rotating triangular file cuts dentin off the wall, shaves dentin circumferentially around the walls, and then the debris gets filled into the chip space. So what we need to do is we need to clean this debris immediately as soon as it gets full, because what that does is it allows the file to then be able to cut without getting uh, torqued. So after understanding completely this, this motion of rotation, the debris accumulation, we realized that the best way to use rotor, uh, rotary nitai files is actually by doing a single stroke. When you do a single stroke, you will end up having a lot less torque. Let's use a sugar bowl analogy uh, for this. That I have done a previous tutorial on this, but I'm going to explain it one more time here briefly so that we can um, all be on the same page. The sugar bowl analogy tells us that if we were to move sugar from uh, one bowl to the other using a spoon, what we end up uh, doing is we're going to uh, take one spoon full of sugar and then empty it before we take another one. This is the intuitive motion that if you ask anyone to do this particular task would do. However, in endodontics, we have been using this kind of emotion where we've taken one stroke, filled the flutes of the file, and then we've gone back and done more strokes. What ends up happening when you do that action is that upon subsequent strokes, you're releasing the debris from the file into the, uh, into the canal space. And what that does is it, the debris accumulates, either accumulates and gets pushed out the apex, it prevents your file from advancing forward, and it increases the torque on the file, especially if it doesn't fully disengage from the chip space. So the only rational way to use files would be to use them like spoons, which means that you allow your file to get engaged once then you remove the file from the canal, and then you wipe the file clean and empty the chip space. And that would be the most logical way to use files overall. And uh, I can give you a clinical example of that using this uh, molar here. And let's just do the mesiobuccal root of this molar with a single stroke here. And what you can see here is that on a single stroke, uh, the file is basically, this is the expediter, ESX expediter file that originally fits about four millimeter from the working length after having a 1502 file down there. And then we're using a little brush here on each stroke. This is a single stroke only to get engagement that fills up the flute and then we're cleaning the file. And then you can see here after about five or six strokes here, we managed to get the, uh, uh, the expediter file, which is the 1505 file, down to the full working length. This demonstrates the power of the SSC or the single stroke and clean motion. And you can see here, every tooth here was, every canal was uh, completed using uh, um, the same kind of motion. So this chip space based motion at Rio Dendo, we are calling a single stroke and clean or SSC for short. And it is, in my opinion, the best way to use the ESX file system so that uh, you reduce the torque uh, both on the expediter file as well as on each of the finishing files, whichever one you end up having to use for that given canal. So for that, we also are using, we have developed a little tiny brush uh, that you can use, or you can use an alcohol wipe with uh, your chair side assistant. Obviously, if you're using your assistant to wipe the, uh, the file, you have to make sure that you start and then you stop the file from rotating before she wipes it. There's also ways, and I will do additional tutorials to help you how you can do wiping effectively and efficiently and also safely using gauze or other kinds of sponges that you can just uh, wipe your file clean. So that's basically it. This is the basic technique, the ESX basic uh, technique using SSC, single stroke and clean. So your hand file, uh, once it reaches the apex, 
uh, then you use the expediter file using SSC, which is a single stroke and you remove it, you wipe it. Single stroke, you remove it and wipe it. And then based on how many engagements you end up having or how heavy the engagements are, you choose either a small, medium or large uh, ESX finishing file. Uh, and you use those also in the S with the SSC motion and you get them down. And that's basically it. And once your um, finishing file reaches the apex, then you get the matching, got a purchase cone for that given finishing file. Um, these are bioceramic coated, ESX bioceramic coated, got a purchase cones that you then cement using BC sealer, uh, hydraulic condensation technique, uh, and you're done. It's a fairly straightforward uh, technique. The ESX files are also in sterile come in sterile packs and um, that will help you just, um, they come in individual, individually wrapped uh, perforated um, sterile packages and uh, you basically first always use the expediter and from there you open the corresponding required uh, you know finishing file and you work your way down based on the criteria that I explained before. So that is the basic uh, ESX technique and uh, we're going to come back here and do a quick uh, video demonstration of that uh, technique for you.